Let's face it, when it comes to learning about when it's going to snow and how much, continue to see the winds out of the northwest. They'll be gusting at times over 25 miles an hour. Most of us turn to our friendly neighborhood meteorologist. It'd be several additional inches of snow in the north country out of this. But in the days of yore, before TV and technology, farmers would observe nature to predict how cold and snowy winter will be. Some of those observations became folklore, which are still repeated even today. You've probably heard some. Like some believe wasps and hornets build their nests higher from the ground when they know lots of snow is coming. Or uh, moles dig deeper holes in the ground before severe cold to stay warmer. Have you heard that spiders build larger webs for more food when they know a bad winter is coming? Each of those is a kind of a, a, a little cartoon illustration, almost like a child story, like a, like a fairy tale, about Mother Nature taking care of her creatures. We went to some leading experts. Tim Clark from the Old Farmer's Almanac, Professor Mark Mitch at New England College, and Rachel Massini from the UNH Cooperative Extension to see what is science fact or uh, science fiction. Do you follow or believe in any of these old wives tales? I certainly follow them because we talk about it in class, but you know, the joke I like to make in class is when we're talking about acorns, it's all just nuts. For one of the most common pieces of winter weather folklore, just look at the woolly bear caterpillar. If you see more black on the body, a more severe winter is on the way. You see more orange, more mild. Any truth to it? Turns out color has more to do with age, not climate. Over that age, they'll eventually, the brown bar will eventually get larger and the black bars will eventually be become smaller. So the point is it's gonna depend on when you look at the caterpillar in terms of what how old it is. You've probably heard the myth that if there are more acorns from oaks, that's nature's way of providing more food for a snowy winter. Well, it turns out oaks do provide extra acorns some years, but exactly why is not clear. They go through what we call mast years, where they produce in large numbers a certain number of years, and then every two to five, and then they'll, in between those years, they have low production. Another long-held winter prognosticator, livestock. When sheep or cows grow thicker coats, they somehow know an extra cold winter is coming. But experts say, wait a four-legged minute. Fall conditions like thicker coats were probably thanks to weather conditions from the past, not the future. It probably just means they've been eating or feeding at a time when the weather conditions have been right for that. Same deal with the long-held belief that pine trees release more or larger cones before a bad winter. Again, more likely that it was related to how healthy the tree has been in the past 12 months or the age of the pine cones, not old man winter. Most of the weather forecasting stuff that you have is going to talk about, you know, is caused scientifically by a mild winter the previous winter. There's also a myth if leaves stay on trees longer in fall, it means a harsh winter is coming. Rachel Massini says science really tells the tale here. Leaves fall based on how much water a tree gets or exposure to wind. So you're saying I'm going to rely on the weather guys more than the trees <laughs> to get my predictions? More or less, yeah. The reality is nature can't predict a bad winter. It begs the question though, why do these myths get passed on for generations? Tim Clark says, in a world of modern amenities, we still wanna keep our connection to nature strong. Superstition or fact, simple observations have value. The important thing you're doing there is not predicting the weather. It's exposing your kids to nature. 
It's being aware of what's happening around you. Partly sunny skies as we go through the afternoon. The snowfall continuing to come down heavily up in the north country. But thanks to modern technology and decades of weather data and trends, we can make educated guesses at what could happen for a particular winter, like the Old Farmer's Almanac in Dublin does each year. So, what could happen this winter? We'll get something more like a normal winter this year. Maybe not as much snow in some places that expect to get snow. Snow is going to be limited pretty much to the northern tier of states and down the Appalachians. So right now, all of the predictions associated with kind of global circulation patterns, they're indicating that yes, it's more likely that this will be a more severe winter because El Nino is ending. All of this stuff will give you a better understanding of the place where you live and prepare you better for the future in that place. But it's not going to predict how much snow is going to fall next winter.